Hi, I'm Paul Ritter, Vice President of Interactive Media Strategies, and we're here for the business video industry site on TMCNet. And I'm pleased to be able to be joined today by Rich Tarani, the CEO of TMC. Thanks, Rich. I'm glad that we had a chance to talk today. Well, thank you so much for uh, having me. I'd like to get your insights on what is TMC? What was kind of the, the derivation of the, the company and what has now become a massive community of sites? Well, uh, we are a 37-year-old media company uh, founded in 1972 before the term media was used. It was uh, back then a publishing company, but uh, we have evolved now to uh, a company that provides uh, information uh, to various communities in the technology and communication space. And uh, we, we tend to bring these communities together in, in three different ways. Uh, one is via the web, and video is one of the, the mechanisms um, by which we do that. And then there's print via four magazines. And we also have live events, which um, are generally uh, tour or more trade shows called uh, IT Expo that we run uh, currently in uh, California and in Southern Florida. So TMC is really a, kind of a, an integrated marketing company with a lot of channels and ways to bring information to audiences in different formats, I guess. Is that how you would describe it? Sure. And that, I think, online, and, and so many people know us online, we'll receive anywhere uh, from two to three million uh, unique visitors every month that will come to us uh, online, and they'll read somewhere in the 35 to 40 million pages per month range. And they could be coming to us for a whole number of reasons. They may have seen a, uh, a community that ranks high on a search engine. And, and by a community, those are generally uh, sponsored sites or co-branded sites where we work with a partner to um, develop a uh, micro portal on TMC. And that micro portal basically uh, consists of all the information that we're producing in a specific subject area. So, uh, for example, in the uh, business video side of things, maybe streaming media could be an area that we would devote a portal to, or, or it could be mobile video. And, and those communities tend to rank very, very high in search engines, and, and that's why we've got over 130 customers that that uh, sponsor those monthly for us or with us, and then we have another 30 or 40 right now in development because the demand for that sort of product is very high. And um, that just is some of our content. A lot of our content is just written for non-sponsored sites on TMC, and they may have ads, they may not have ads, uh, but it's just part of the uh, thousands and thousands of new pieces of content that TMC has coming into its engine uh, on a daily basis. Let's talk a little bit about that content because you've got a lot of people really all around the world who are helping to create that content. Can you tell us about how that happens? Sure. Well, uh, we, we've got somewhere between 75 and 120 to 150 writers that um, contribute content to us that are compensated in some way on a, on a monthly basis. So. Uh, that is the core audience, and with those writers, we, we have a sophisticated message board. Um, well, not only that sophisticated, it's a message board that, that helps that community of writers know what to write about, and uh, some of it's left to them to choose, and some of it we direct, depending on what the expertise is on a particular sub subject matter. And then on top of that, we have uh, agreements with uh, syndicated news sources, That'll bring in a few thousand pieces of news, uh, up to 4,000 pieces of news. And then we've got bloggers and industry analysts, such as yourself, who contribute to TMCNet as well. And uh, we also allow um, the community to submit content for um, posting on TMCNet. And that massive volume of content is uh, gone through via index servers with proprietary technology that we've worked on for know, over a decade to figure out how to put that content in the right place because at the end of the day our goal is to provide a consumer of this content hopefully a decision maker looking to purchase a product or learn more about a, an industry with the right content and so we want them to 
find an area on our site that they think is important, whether let's say it's a business video site or it could be information on the smart grid or information on 4G wireless or IP communications or servers or storage or software, cloud communications, cloud computing. And we want them to bookmark that site or, or subscribe to an RSS feed of that site and visit it frequently because our covenant with that reader is that we are going to update the information as often as we can with fresh relevant content and it could be podcasts, video, articles, blogs, there are now tweets coming out of our out of our organization, uh, Facebook pages. I mean the goal is to try to provide relevant content 24-7 for an international audience of, of millions of relevant visitors. And I, I know the tagline for the company is the world's largest communications and technology community. And how, how large really is it? it? More and more pages are added every day, but how big is it today? Somewhere in the order of four to five million pages. Uh, once every six months to, to eight months, I'll, I'll ask the web team you know, how many pages we have. And it's been a while, but four million we broke months and months ago. So I mean, we, we're probably near the five million mark. And it's, it's amazing to me is that there are so many people that I uh, run into at trade shows, and you and I were at a streaming media show earlier this week where a few people came to me and said that they're submitting um, their press releases, some are submitting um, content uh, to our site, and uh, our goal is to really, I mean, we want to we wanna be the, the central place where communities develop, they consume content, they comment on content, and that has been our mission for, for many years and I, I believe thanks to the community of vendors who support us um, monetarily and the uh, consumers of content who, who choose to come back to our blogs and our articles and our video sites on a daily basis we've been very successful in, in um, really becoming the hub for, for uh, the interaction between buyer and seller. And I think that's kind of the, the definition of a real community. Not only is there information there that they want to access, that they want to come and find, but they can interact with that, provide feedback, and supply and provide their own content that they think is important to that community to help that community grow and, and prosper. That's right. Well, and we, we try not to we try not to have a single point of view. In fact, we don't. We, we, we like to have as many personalities as we can on our site. Uh, we like to have uh, the the end user to see points of view on stories that they won't get anywhere else. Sometimes uh, when we do some analysis after the fact, we'll see that an important piece of news breaks and we will have up to seven articles written by our own staff on that article or on that news from different points of view. And then on top of that, there would be maybe a story from the Associated Press. Uh, there will be stories from syndicated news uh, feeds that we have. So, I mean, you literally could have 15 to 20 points of view on a story. And the reason that's important is because we don't want to have a single point of view on any story. We want the reader to determine what sort of article is the best. And at the end of the day, it's really up, up to the audience. The web is the ultimate, ultimate uh, democratic process in terms of just information dissemination. People find the articles that they think are best, and it may be one out of those 15 articles on a specific mm -hmm. topic, and they decide they're going to post that to LinkedIn or Facebook, or uh, they're going to put it on Dig, or they're going to put it wherever they share uh, their information, and and that's or they'll email it. I mean, and that's really it. Continues to be our goal to be that central hub where the information comes in, it gets put in the right place, and it gets fed out to the right audience group of audience audiences and then they determine that audience determines what is most important and they help it go viral. Great. I think it's a, a pretty good overview of what really TMC is and what TMC Net offers as this vast community of sites and technology and information that people can uh, access for resources. So thanks very much for sharing that. I appreciate your time. Thank you. I'm Paul Ritter with Interactive Media Strategies for Business Video on TMC Net. We'll see you next time.